thank everyone who could make it here today, social distancing, and join us. We have gathered here today to witness a beautiful thing we call love. We cultivate love when we allow our most vulnerable selves to be deeply seen and known, and when we honor the spiritual connection, which grows from this offer with trust, respect, kindness, and affection. We've known each other for eight years. Uh, from what I understand, they met at a bowling alley, and Fred initially chased Tracy, but because he was so handsome and funny, Tracy chased him back. Their first date was at Applebee's. Tracy told me she was drawn to Fred because of his big heart. She said he is such a character. His jokes always make me laugh and brighten my day. He makes me feel beautiful and special. Fred said that we are very compatible. I love her smile and her smiling face every day. It makes me so happy. He blessed me, which I would now like to recite. God in heaven above, please protect the ones we love. We honor all that you created as we pledge our hearts and lives together. We honor Mother Earth and ask for our marriage to be abundant and to grow stronger through the seasons. We honor fire and ask that our union be warm and glowing with love in our hearts. We honor wind and ask that we sail through life safely and calm as in our Father's arms. We honor water to clean and soothe our relationship that it may never thirst for love. With all the forces of the universe you created, we pray for harmony and true happiness as we forever grow young together. So you bless them every day and provide guidance for life challenges, especially the challenges we are now facing in the world today. Lastly, we ask that you keep them in your care and everlasting love and life. Amen. Are we ready? By the power granted to me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you Frederick and Tracy, husband and wife. Congratulations and blessings. You may kiss your bride. Yeah.